Hey everybody, in this reading we'll be looking at things uh, that didn't come through in my other readings for whatever reason. Um, and these things could be about love, work, friendship, trips, whatever comes up. I'll do a couple of spreads and maybe um, additional clarification or outcome spreads if necessary. Please like, share and subscribe to support this channel. Here's the first um, lost message for you, Cancer. We have the Queen of Pentacles, clarified by the Ace of Swords. We have Judgment, clarified by the Six of Pentacles. Then we have the Nine of Pentacles, clarified by the Queen of Cups and the Two of Wands. And uh, we have the Knight of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or any Zodiac sign. I think it has something to do with work, business, and finances, to be honest with you, Cancer. Right? We've got a lot of Pentacles. And uh, the person coming your way is also a pentacle person, <laughs> this queen of pentacles, right? So it could be an earth sign, it could be an earth sign towards Virgo Capricorn. But uh, from what I see further down, it's most likely somebody who is like in charge of hiring, somebody who is a manager or a recruiter or someone like that. Or somebody who wants to do business with you, they could be a business owner. Someone like that, right? And it feels like they really either want to hire you or they want to promote you or they want to do business with you or something like that. Because on the bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Pentacles. And I think it's coming from this Queen of Pentacles, right? It's, it's an offer coming your way and it has something to do with money. Work, finances, something like that. And the Knight of Pentacles is the most financially abundant knight out of all four knights. The Knight of Pentacles is um, this night always talks about long term right not necessarily relationship wise <laughs> it could be a relationship but like work relationship business relationship right the queen of pentacles themselves is clarified by the ace of swords so, so this person is crystal clear about what's going on what they want they do want to hire you they want to offer you this uh, job a contract promotion what have you this person is go and they're going to be very straightforward, very upfront, very honest with you without Ace of Swords. And the Ace of Swords often comes through as the word yes. In the middle we have Judgment, clarified by the Six of Pentacles. Sometimes Judgment is a card of somebody coming back. So maybe you've already dealt with this person in the past. Maybe this person who wants you back. Maybe you left and now they realize that everything is falling apart without you and they're coming back offering you this job back with some money on top. <laughs> okay, judgment is also a card of having to make a judgment call, right? The, the Six of Pentacles clarifying that is a card of an equal give and take. It's a card of generosity, right? And uh, it, it's also a financial card, all right? At the end, we have the Nine of Pentacles clarified by the Queen of Cups and the Two of Wands. The Nine of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups clarifying it both. All those three cards, this is you and all three of them. All right, see, there is only one person in all three of them, and that person would be you. <laughs> the Queen of Cups is your major arcana card. The person in the Nine of Pentacles is somebody who is doing very well financially, somebody who is respected, admired. When it comes to work, uh, the, the person in the Nine of Pentacles would be somebody whom everybody would go and ask for, or for, to, for an advice, right? Or ask for help to solve something. The person in the Nine of Pentacles is like... A, um, like a, almost a figure of authority, you know, because you're like glowing up, you're glowing up, you know everything, or you're the best at what you do, or you're just doing very well financially, or you're in the position of uh, deciding what you want to do about this, because that's what the Two of Wands is. So with the Two of Wands, you may take a little bit of a time to think about it, or with the Two of Wands, if you do decide to accept it, now a whole new like horizons open up for you. You're going to be like, okay, so what do I do now? Right? Is there anything in addition to this that I want to do? But um, yeah, you're going to be in the position of uh, choosing or deciding, or you'll just feel good about uh, the fact that you're being chosen for this. Or you, they want to do business with you, they want to promote you, they want to hire you, and things like that. All right, I don't think we need to do additional spreads for this. Um, cancer, I think it's crystal clear what's going on. All right, so let's do another lost message for you real quick. Here's another lost message for you, Cancer. Um, we have uh, the Five of Swords, clarified by Justice. We have uh, the Ace of Pentacles, clarified by the Page of Cups. We have the Sun, clarified by the Eight of Wands. And we have the World on the bottom of the deck. You can be dealing with a Libra, Leo, or any Zodiac sign. That, that was one interesting beginning with that Five of Swords, okay? And uh, which is clarified by Justice. Okay, so for some of you, it could be somebody coming back to you wanting to 
reconcile with you, right? It could be. But for others of you, somebody could be wrapping up a divorce, wrapping up another relationship. Or they could be telling somebody off. If somebody is trying to talk this person out of uh, moving forward with you, out of asking out on a date, then they will tell that person off. Because the five of, it's never pretty with the five of swords, right? It's a card of an ugly fight, breakup. It's a card of a divorce. It's a card of just telling somebody off and uh, leaving that person in the dust, right? Just as clarifying it, it could be a divorce, right? Or it could be an apology coming from somebody if this is somebody from your past, all right? Somebody trying to make things right with you. And uh, we also have the world, by the way, on the bottom of the deck. The world could be someplace remote. For some of you, this person could be at a distance from you, so it's not going to be a problem. They will come see you. They'll come your way. The world is also kind of an ending, right? But it's a happy end card. This is when one chapter of your life comes to an end, and a much better chapter of your life is about to begin together with this person, if you decide to do so, <laughs> or it could be an ending, if this person is wrapping up a divorce or they're breaking up with somebody, it could be that end, the ending of that. So here they come, here they come with a Ace of Pentacles clarified by the Page of Cups. I, I love this combo, you know, it's an, it's an Ace of Pentacles, it's the Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of all Aces, as I often refer to it, there is absolutely nothing wrong without the Aces. But the Ace of Pentacles is like a bundle, it's like a package, all aces combined into one, but it's clarified by the Page of Cups. And there's nothing wrong with the Page of Cups either, but it's a page. <laughs> it's the Ace of All Aces clarified by a page. So this is them either letting you know that relationship, that marriage is over, or they're letting you know that they're coming your way, or asking you out on a date. Or it could be an apology, right? Both Justice and the Page of Cups could be apology cards. And at the end we have the Sun, clarified by the Eight of Wands. The Sun could be a Leo you're dealing with, but uh, the Sun um, is the happiest card in the deck. But the Sun, we always feel on top of the world, we feel like we've succeeded in life, we're just in joy and uh, we, we jump for joy. The Eight of Wands, clarifying that it could be a card of somebody literally coming your way, right? The Eight of Wands could be a card of travel, but it's also a card of communication and it's also a card of the Cupid's Arrows. So from what I see so far, it looks good. It looks good. Alright, um, yeah, I'm kind of curious where this takes you. Okay, so let's do an additional spread, a clarification or potential outcome spread real quick. So here's an additional spread for you, Cancer, for the first, for the previous spread, right? Uh, this is a clarification slash potential outcome. We have the Nine of Cups, clarified by the Six of Wands, the Ace of Swords, clarified by the Fool, the Queen of Cups, clarified by the Harfant, and we also have the Lovers. On the bottom of the deck, you could be dealing with an Aries, Taurus, a Gemini, or whatever that person's zodiac sign is. The potential is definitely, well, you do have a potential. <laughs> you do have a potential. Um, the Queen of Cups right next to the deck, that's you, right, Cancer? And as I was clarifying, uh, that Queen of Cups, I simply asked, how will Cancer feel about this? And the Hierophant showed up. So yes, you, will, you yourself will think of it as something long-term. Okay, the Hierophant, oh, you could be dealing with a Taurus. <laughs> Hierophant is a Taurus major kind of card, but it is a card of something traditional, like a committed relationship or marriage, right? And down the bottom of the deck, we have the Lovers, could be a Gemini you're dealing with, or it could be happening right now during Gemini birthday season. The Lovers is also a card of a choice, so you will have a choice to make, but uh, yeah, we always choose to be or not to be, to jump into relationships or not, to forgive somebody or not, to reconcile with someone or not. The Lovers is also, um, in my opinion, the best card when it comes to the actual love connection between two people. It's a soulmate card, it's a card of um, a twin flame connection, if you believe in twin flames, and it could be the love of your life, right? We start with the Nine of uh, Cups, clarified by the Six of Wands. I think those two cards are talking about this person coming your way or coming back. The, the same person we saw in the previous part, because there's just one person in both of them. The Nine of Cups is a card of a wish come true, satisfaction, right? The Six of Wands, clarifying it is a card of victory, success. It's a card of them either coming back hoping to win you over or coming in to win you over. Maybe they are, if they're divorcing or if they are uh, breaking up with somebody or wrapping up a relationship with somebody, they feel good about leaving that behind so they could come your way. All right, and uh, the Ace of Swords, um, clarified by the Fool. Yeah, it's um, the Ace of Swords often comes through as the word yes. Okay, the Ace of Swords is a card of a very straightforward, very upfront conversation. With the Ace of Swords, people are usually crystal clear. 
about what's going on and people are very honest with that ace of swords and the fool could be an Aries you know if it's somebody from your past the fool could be a card of second chances letting go of what happened in the past and uh, giving it another shot or maybe simply giving it a shot with this person if this is a new person right taking a risk taking a leap of faith all right yeah looks good looks good i don't see any red flags i don't see any cards suggesting you shouldn't be with this person all right cancer so that's what i have for you for this reading for this time period if this video resonates with you please like it please also comment and subscribe and uh other than that cancer have an amazing june